I got some questions about the difference between the plus one and the plus three oxidation state of gold, and I'm going to use the metal vanadium to answer that question. Now, unlike group one and two metals, transition metals are capable of multiple oxidation states, and vanadium is capable of more than most. To do this demo, I start with the yellow powder vanadium pentoxide, which puts vanadium in its plus five oxidation state. This is transferred to an Erlenmeyer flask and then dissolved in a stoichiometric quantity of sodium hydroxide to form sodium vanadate. I then add sulfuric acid to bring the pH down to 2, forming vanadyl sulfate, which is also in the plus 5 oxidation state. Now at this point, you're probably still wondering what is an oxidation state, and basically it's the electrical charge on an atom. Now as you might know, atoms are made up of protons, neutrons, and electrons, and protons are positively charged while electrons are negatively charged. Chemical reactions happen when electrons move from one atom to another, and if the atom loses electrons, we say that it's oxidized, and if it gains electrons, we say that it's reduced. The degree of oxidation is called the oxidation state, and so yellow vanadium compounds in the plus five oxidation state have a deficit of five electrons. This demonstration relies on the fact that different metals have different affinities for electrons, which we call oxidation reduction potentials. Zinc metal has a lower affinity for electrons than most metals and will actually give up electrons to vanadium to reduce its oxidation state. Now the interesting part of this is that transition metal ions will typically have different colors depending on their oxidation state. And while the plus five state of vanadium is yellow, the plus four state is blue. Not only this, but zinc can continue to reduce vanadium ions to the plus three state, and then the plus two state, which are green and violet, respectively. This is a classic example of a successive redox reaction, and you can do this with any transition metal, but vanadium has more oxidation states than most, as I mentioned earlier, and if you used copper, for example, you'd really only be able to get it in its plus two and its plus one state. Now at this point you might be wondering how did vanadium lose those five electrons to begin with? And the answer to this is that it reacted with oxygen. Oxygen is a nonmetal, and the key difference between metals and nonmetals is that metals prefer to give up electrons while nonmetals prefer to gain electrons. Because of this, metals and nonmetals will typically undergo redox reactions to form salts. Vanadium pentoxide specifically is five oxygens bound to two vanadiums, and each oxygen has a minus two charge being in group 16. This minus 10 charge is balanced out by two vanadiums, which gives each vanadium a plus five charge. If you couldn't tell yet, this is a pretty complex topic, and if you'd like, you can leave a comment and I'll try to do a full video on oxidation states in the future. In any case, that's the full vanadium rainbow and here I've collected samples of vanadium ions from all four primary oxidation states. I also collected ions from the sort of in-between state between plus five and plus four. It's not a true oxidation state so much as an intermediate, but I think it looks cool, so I kept it. And as always, I hope you found this interesting, and if you'd like to see more science, consider following me here on TikTok or YouTube.